What made you want to run for the position? Well, it was uh, it is an interesting story. I had a group of local individuals approach me, and it was not part of my plan for my future. Jesus and I had set up a brief plan, and uh, this came about, and I was going to say no, and yes came out. So <laughs> here we are, and I'm looking forward to what's in the future for it. And what makes you feel like you're the right person for the job? Um, my background, I started in healthcare administration, uh, have an MBA, and um, ran uh, hospitals, uh, we've run our own company, uh, we dabble in real estate for ourselves. I have a lot of skills that I can use uh, that I've you know, put together uh, for today. So I look back and I can see everything that God has laid out for me as I move forward. Absolutely. For someone who doesn't know you, who is, who is Roxanne? So Roxanne is, um, let's see, uh, <laughs> married for 24 years, raising two children, an 18-year-old and a 13-year-old, and uh, teenagers, if you, uh, you probably don't know what that's like, but um, rough period of time with the teenagers, but that's, that's what my life has consisted of. Uh, I've served in a lot of different communities. I'm currently the chair for the Texas Workforce Commission, our local office. Uh, serve on numerous boards in the community, the Baptist Foundation, American Red Cross, and also served in the uh, Chamber of Commerce for Beaumont. Yeah. So, What are some, some of the big issues for you? What are some of the most important things for you? Uh, so my platform is focusing on efficiency, make sure that the office is running like it should. Uh, Ms. Carolyn Guidry was there for 16 years, did an amazing job. Um, I have spent time with a lot of individuals throughout the state and have learned that there's uh, new ways to do things, and so I'm going to focus on that. Um, integrity, make sure you know everybody's questioning pieces of the election, did it happen, not happen. Um, I don't ever want that to happen here. I want us to be uh, top-notch, be an example for the state, and so that's going to be my focus. And of course, diversity. We live in a very diverse community, and I embrace that. Being Hispanic myself, I am the only Hispanic on the ballot. Uh, will be the only Hispanic elected official. And so that's pretty important to me, pretty important. Is there anything else that you might want to add? Is there something I didn't ask you? Mm, let's see. Um, it's a big job. And people are typically not that excited about the county clerk's office because they don't understand the impact of it. We hold every single document from the time you're born to the time that Jesus says, come with me. Uh, everything is hosted there. Uh, your real estate documents, um, you have your civil court documents, and again, the election piece of it. So uh, at one point or another, you will be at our office and you want someone who's gonna be efficient and handling your, your business appropriately.